Hey everybody, Roger here. Um, just want to kind of go over a couple of small things here regarding some observances and, uh, regarding Kilroy and, and a lot of the things that have been said back and forth, a lot of the things that have been done back and forth, uh, mostly between myself and uh, Monday and Matt. Um, again, I don't normally harp on little things. My whole point of, of, uh, of covering this event uh, was to basically cover it neutrally. You know, I don't, I, I can't put any more words onto that without it sounding redundant. And I'm sorry if it sounds that way, but um, it sounds like, you know, he needs a little bit of a clarification because uh, I, I, I do like, I do have to, and I like pointing people out when they're wrong um, and when they have a misjudgment and clarify their actions. Um, his own, his own uh, footage uh, his own uh, uh, panel, uh, where he was on there doing his own thing um, on Sunday. He had two panels. He had one by himself and one with uh, four people, where it was an engagement type of a deal. Uh, in that first one, he, you know, Roman Millennial asked an excellent question uh, regarding how do you do, how do you deal with you know people who have things wrong in the internet, yada yada yada. I had a question, sort of about social media fake news. You mentioned everything happening online where with this conference specifically as youtubers i'm sure we all had our own share of i don't know nazism accusations and with this whole youtube and we've seen that all the case for someone to be accused of something is it is a little quick post on facebook or twitter and all of a sudden you have this allegation out there against you that's there for you know, millions of people to see regardless of if there's any weight to it and later on I, I find that video and i'm just like none of what he said happened so i find that to be pretty funny overall She's just 16 years old. So as social media users, well, what are we supposed to do to combat, I mean, like fake news allegations that other people may be sending our way without, you know, we don't want to give them credit too much, but we just not bother addressing them? What's, what's the proper way forward? You, I mean, like the YouTube movement was a big part of that. We've seen that, right? Um, there's, a, there's a great example. I, I don't fully have an answer to what happened, but I like to bring this up occasionally. Um, there's, a, there's a great example. I. I don't fully have an answer to what happened, but I like to bring this up occasionally. And everything about her question reflected my situation, his, what he did to me. You know, he basically lied without doing his homework. Uh, he didn't ask the source. Uh, and then he proceeded to uh, uh, state that as that is fact is what happened. You know, in fact, that is what happened because just because he didn't get my side of the story, just because he saw from a distance. Doesn't that give you a little bit of an indication of what type of person he would be? I mean, and also in addition, you know, with him saying that he was a security guard in the past. It all it's, it's got its own audience, but it's always been for the artistic video. It's always been for, for the higher quality uh, stuff that is not meant to be generally consumed by YouTube. And that's one of the reasons why we've never really seen videos like that. It encompasses the factor of how you play with him also says that uh, he probably has mislabeled a lot of people because of their actions due to his limited observation. So, yeah, I, uh, 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 I take offense to that, and, um, and uh, I will call him out on it. Uh, but he was so, it was his, his whole speech, his whole solo speech was very hypocritical compared, you know, what he told everybody how to handle things, how to do things on social media and, and uh, how to get ahead on social media and how to avoid bullyism and all this and that. I'm like, well, you just, everything you did, you just did the night before, buddy, or the, the, the two nights before. Um, and then in the second panel, here's the part that is very, very funny because it's very, again, hypocritical. Uh, he... He was interviewing, he, he was doing his own day one Kilroy. Go watch that video if you can. And uh, within the 10 minute, mark, 10 minute mark, I am brought up. Uh, but within, I think it's about 35, 40 minute mark. I could be wrong, could be a little bit later. Mr. Mediker jumps in. Jim Mediker or whatever his name is, jumps in. Um, I think his name is Jim, I don't know. That's what I hear a lot of people call him. What's up with this name, Jim, everywhere. Um, and and uh, he was... You know, he was basically asking uh, 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 Matt, you know, like, what what are your thoughts about Roger, yada, yada, yada. And he's like, oh, you know, he is totally lying about all this stuff. And, and he's fabricating a story. And, you know, I have witnesses and all this and that. He, he didn't engage with anybody. And I was laughing at the video because he just kind of sat there, which is why when he did a stream today and he had asked about, like, uh, you know, facts over everything, I just kind of I was snickering because I'm like, 
you're talking about like facts on a situation and you're making a video where you said you did something, but I have like eight witnesses to say that you didn't. She's just 16 years old. So this is, just wanted to make sure and show you, I'm not like. No, no, I, I yeah, no, it's, it's clearly we're, we're going to get you taken care of. We're going to get you registered. It's not going to be a problem. <laughs> it's just, there's been all kinds of, Miscommunicate. Miscommun just, uh, you know, errors in uh, getting people placed in terms of the buildings and things like that and fires cropping up. But this, you know, I mean, this, this kind of thing happens with, uh, with conferences, especially when they're just starting out. It's a learning curve. Yeah, there's definitely been a lot of <laughs> interesting you uh, you followed that, have you? I've commented on it, actually. <laughs> followed and commented, but, you know, I'm very neutral to the, whole, to the whole thing. You know, I've always kept my stance in neutral. I don't know what's going to happen, and people, people criticizing it. I mean, I guess they can look at it the way that they want to, and, and uh, I can see validity because there is a lot of ambiguity, but I'm looking at it like, well, I'm not going to dog it until I try it. Yeah. And you don't dog something you don't taste and have a criticism of it. Yeah, I don't think I found anybody yet. Right. I guess I could wait, right? It's going to be. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Hang out. Which is exciting. Can you talk to the front desk and see? Excuse me. Are you uh, one of the coordinators? The volunteers. That's even worse. What can I do for you? Um, I can hear on the on your guys' app. App is said to come here from seven to five to nine today, and there was nobody in the conference room to register. Okay. Registration. Uh, Tim was down there today for a while. So might have been a different conference room. This place is huge. Tim is going to open registration again tomorrow morning. We're going to tweet out details here in a little while. So you're good. You're good. I'm about to mention it just I, I drove from North Phoenix tonight okay. to get here. I'm not staying at the hotel. I live up there. Okay. That's why it's kind of a... What do you think? Tim is kind of down there. You get down there. He's a big dude. He's a big dude with a, a Danish with a British accent. Okay. He's Okay. Yes. Um, I believe we'll just come tomorrow. Uh, okay. In my business. So what time is he going to do it? He's coming down uh, here probably in the next 20 minutes. Uh, tomorrow should be 9 o'clock. I have an appointment after this, so I wasn't uh, supposed to be here for the meet and greet, so. We're, we're not going to be here. I appreciate it. No worries. Somebody told me you were here. I already texted him. Okay. Cool. Thanks. No worries. Tim is coming. There's got three people here that are that are registered. I'm sorry. Are there, he's these are people that need to be registered as well. Okay. So Tim is a tall uh, uh, British. He said a, this guy over here said a big guy, right? Big like guy. Big... No, not the bulky guy. No, not him. Uh, but he's tall. He's on. He hasn't gotten here, but he's on his way. So as soon as he, yeah, I'll, I'll point you guys out. That, that gentleman is well. Well, thanks for great. catching me. I was, of course. I was going to leave because they said tomorrow we can. No, 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 no. Well, I'm sure you can. Tim said he's coming, right? Yes. Okay. I'm the guy that everybody's talking about in regards to the re registration issue. Okay. And, and, and uh, that is, it can be backed with, with fact with three people that assisted me that saw me in my Why scenario. Why didn't you come over and talk to me, dude? Because I didn't know you. I don't know who but you, you are. You, you told to, talked to Michael. Said he, you, you had to know who I was. Everyone else came over. No, he said he walked. We both walked in. We both walked into the venue. Yeah. He sat me down. and said, "I'm gonna go." They left again, and he came back about five minutes later. Both him and the guy that's gonna be speaking, Joaquin. Joaquin, and one other guy. They came back to me and said, "Well, look for a guy named Jim. He's a large guy. He has an accent." So you'll recognize them. I'm like, well, I can't hear anything in here. And I've, I've asked for information about like who the coordinators were in the past, but I never received information. I don't know who well, you I'm are. Sorry, dude. I'm sorry I didn't, I didn't find you. I wish you, could, I wish you could, would have found me down there. Yeah, no, likewise, man. You know, I give you kudos for that. Um, but that's my whole thing. It's like, I didn't know anybody. I don't, I don't follow these people personally. I just, uh, so I, I reported on that. You know, I just basically said, you know, I'm upset because I had other things to attend. I wasn't gonna, I was just gonna stay here to register. That's what it said in the app.
and then I left. You know, I my had dinner with a friend, and then I came back the next morning, and then I found out that everybody on the internet was saying that, oh, you know, he's lying about it. And and Mr. Medicare, you know, was like, okay, well, maybe he's just trying to, uh, maybe he's just trolling the whole place and and whatnot. He's like. He's like, Roger is one of the only few people there with an opposition view. The only guy, the only person I know here from any kind of uh, oppositional position would be the, uh, would be the, 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 what's his name? His name is Roger. I know that much, but I don't know what his channel's name is. I know that uh, Jim was sharing that earlier too. She's just 16 years old. Well, buddy, again, you didn't ask me, so uh, don't put words in my mouth. I don't have an opposition view. I have a very neutral view. Um, you know, it's one of the reasons why I think I had a chance to uh, uh, sit there and and uh, relay information back and forth between myself, Sestra, and based Mama. They were more than willing and open to discuss things with me. Uh, it started off bad. I mean, yeah, Sestra was. <laughs> Sestra initially just came up to me and was like, uh, "Yeah, you know, if you want to go ahead and just bash this whole place, go ahead. You know, we don't care. We don't care. You know, just choose." You could tell she was flustered. But anyways, within that, within that Mr. Medicare thing, the big thing I want to highlight is this. You basically were asked how many people were in attendance and you had a, you know, you count, I guess, or maybe that was the panels, I don't, I don't know. You were counting the panels to justify subtracting individuals uh, uh, from who actually was present, you know, especially like with the Susanna Hoff Summers uh, uh, highlight, whatever, which was, I'm going to say at least 80 people in Susanna, uh, I'm sorry, Christina, everybody is messing with me on that, I'm sorry, uh, with Christina Hoff Summers, um, not the Bengals lead singer, um, but anyways, he's, Mr. Medicare asks, do you, what do you define it as a success? He's like, well, it's a success in that it happened. Uh, it sounds like Kilware was a big success, a big success. It was, it happened. Uh, your definition of success may vary from mine. She's just 16 years old. And then he couldn't really answer the financial success one. And so the reason why I bring up that and the second panel where he's with, uh, Rucka Rucka, I think Rucka Rucka is narrating it or, uh, uh, moderating it, sorry, and um, there's four people, including um, Matt in the panel. Matt just kept talking about what success meant to him and how he got his house and how he got out of debt and how he was able to buy this house and how he has a baby and, and money, 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 money. But when it becomes your, when you, I've been doing this as a job for three years, I've got a business license, I've got a home, there are elements of things that I have to maintain. It's not always the easiest, but you still have to look at it from the perspective of how does the business grow. Now, and I'm not deriding you're just doing it as a hobby at no point would I ever say that, but my entire intent when I started this was to ship folks to get, get money so I could get right. Right? Like I was on employment, I was on food stamps, living in Los Angeles, I was fucking just like, I was angry at the world, and I ended up turning it into something that I cared very much about. But when that happens, you also have to worry about the, 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 the way the changes are. And so while you can still talk about certain things, you also have to play to what's going to be successful for you. And if those start separating further and further apart, what are you going to realistically chase? Is it going to be your passion or is it going to be your rent? And then when those two become a thing, and they do for many people, Daniel was talking about it, it becomes a thing. 100%, 100% right, I'm just saying about that. Um, my, my last question to you was, you said it's a success because it happened. And I, I asked that in the chat. So are you telling us that if it happens as successful, you would count DashCon as a, a rousing success? It had about... <laughs> it had about 200 times the amount of people attending that you guys do. Okay, okay, I get, I get what you're saying there. Uh, here, here's, here's the difference. I think what between you know Kilroy and Dashcon, we have, <laughs> we haven't begged people for twenty thousand to keep the lights on here. I guess, uh, but no, I, I would say it's a success because it happened. The idea is there. Uh, Dashcon, I see your point. I, I, I don't know. Like the metric is they got their money, so to, in their eyes, it was a success. To everyone else, it was a raging dumpster fire, uh, you know. And but I can say honestly, no one's pissed in this ball pit because there's no real ball pit. It's just some stress balls. But she's just sixteen years old. You need to really clue in yourself on 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 making sure that you stay very uh, that you keep the success the success that you define. You need to start keeping in line with what your um, what your what Kilroy's success is as well. 
Um, so Kilroy happened. That's sure. That's one measure of success, but it's not. It's not a great measure of success. It just happened. Okay, so that's like saying with in your case, oh, you know what? You tried, and look at Matt. If you did not succeed in YouTube, guess what? You at least tried. You're successful in that, right? Right? Is that what you would say? No, because what you were saying in your in your little uh, speeches was that you became successful because you started. You know, you bought. You know, you were doing everything on YouTube, and and six years into it, or you were good, and then three years you bought a house. So success to you is a house. And then you said, you know, you, you kept preaching like, oh, you know, you got it. You, money is the thing. You know, you want to make sure companies are, or whatever you're doing is going to be financially good. And, and, I, and I may be putting words into your mouth, but you can watch the segment and realize what I'm, what I'm, uh, uh, what I'm trying to get at here. You, your definition, your real definition of success for you is financial. But when it comes to Kilroy, it's just that it happened. Well, guess what? You know, they have to feed their families as well my understanding, and I am free to disclose this uh, out of permission, um, is that Kilroy is five to $10,000 in the hole. And, uh, and, and, and uh, I don't think you would look at, look at that as a success. I mean, when you said you were on welfare and poor and everything, yada, 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 and you were on food stamps, um, well, welfare, food stamps, same thing. Um, you, uh, you didn't define that as successful. You struggled because you struggle with that, and so you saw it as an obstacle. That's what I'm trying to get at with this whole thing. You know, your definition, you're mixing it up. Why, do you, why don't you just say face and say what it, what it really is? The reason why, okay, you know why it was good for you to not say face and lie about your initial situation about being poor and everything? Because it got you to be successful. Why can't you do the same justification for Kilroy if you care about it? If you really care about something, you will be hypercritical about it. I am. I'm very critical of myself. I'm very critical of my friends. I'm very critical of my family. Um, and I love telling the truth. I'm very critical of my coworkers. Uh, and they're very critical of me. You know, we've, we've made an environment where, yes, if I fuck something up, I will take ownership of it. Uh, and vice versa. You know, you have, to, you have to do this in real life. So, you know what you're doing? This is why you seem very, very very disingenuous to a lot of people in this Kilroy case is because you're being a hypocrite. You are being a huge hypocrite. People, if you haven't done so already, you'll find my argument to be valid. Um, watch the two videos that I posted of, of him discussing all this. Uh, you know, in his first panel speech and his second. I think I have them both in the same video, you know, to compact it for you. So, they were both live streamed and uh, I rest my case on that. You know, mundane Matt, you know, you, you also had an opportunity when you were leaving, you could have approached me. Sure. I may seem unapproachable at times, but as you can tell from a lot of my videos, I was able to talk to base mama. I was able to talk to Sestra. Well, you didn't see that on video, but I, I think you saw that. Uh, and I talked to them for at least an hour and a half, if not more. Um, and they were very comfortable with me and I was very comfortable with them. So, um, I can be comfortable with anybody in controversy. I can be comfortable with anybody who is uh, a, a silent person, loud person, whatever. I got to talk to a lot of attendees there as well. Um, and I'm not I'm not a person who gets starstruck. Uh, like I said, the only one I really ever have is with Haley Reinhardt. Um, <laughs> that's a whole other story. Um, <laughs> but I don't get starstruck. You know, I was there to cover something. I'm, I'm not Gaga. There were a lot of people who there who were fanboys, fangirls, whatever. That's not me. Um, people are people, in my opinion, except Haley. Haley's in the sun. Had still up here. Um, and, um, <laughs> even she's a person, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just kidding about that. But I don't hold people high. And you're just another regular Joe Blow to me who had another, you know, who told a lie, made up a lie about me, didn't ask me anything, observed from a distance, said I didn't talk to anybody. I talked, and actually I even recall, because I have footage, I have private footage that I have recorded. I have made, I made footage of me walking around this damn hotel. I will publish it. And then I made footage also of me walking and waiting, waiting at that venue. It's gonna be a boring ass fucking video, but if you wanna watch it, you will see that I asked people questions. I even asked some third party, hey, are you here because <clears throat> you're waiting or whatever for, you know, like me. And they're like, uh, no. And then I also have Michael Guthrie uh, coming up to me multiple times. Um, and one last thing, I also had a guy who I approached at the very, very, very end of the day on Friday. 
named YouTube name, nobody of consequence, um, uh, who was also in the exact same boat as I was. So, uh, and then more people that I met on my uh, my Kilroy uh, attendees video. There were there was a blonde woman there who had the exact same scenario issue that I had. So, uh, for you to just side and not look at all sides of the scenario. Yes, I was critical on the attendance thing. I was critical on the Friday, um, excuse me. Oh, uh, first off, before I even talk about the criticism, you said everybody was at this meet and greet. Well, guess what? Did, did you get the Yap app? I did because it was in the email. It told me to, to go there to get uh, all information for Kilroy. I went there and guess what the Yap app said? It only said registration was on Friday from five to nine at the conference room center. Why would I travel over to the other one that was from seven to nine or seven to 10 uh, for the meet and greet? I was there to register, dude. I was there to register, dude. You said everybody was over at the at the at the conference thing. Well, guess what? You're I'm, I didn't talk to you, but and and you know what? That didn't it didn't say that I could register at the meet and greet. And then everybody's saying no, you didn't have to register at the meet and greet or anything. Well, guess what? The only information I ever got was from the Yap app, and that and that made me that made it look like I only had that time that reserved time five to nine p.m. on Friday night to register at that conference room building. When I couldn't find anything, I was SOL. You know what, Base Mom? I'm going to give her credit on this. Base Mama apologized about uh, to me about that. Said you know. I felt really bad. This is what happened. And this is what happened from both Sestra and Base Mama's mouth. Um, I guess a girl named Jen or something uh, was very, very tired. She got, they all got there. They had to move boxes. There was an accident on the freeway or something and, and it caused them to be 30 minutes late. And so uh, uh, they arrived and they were, they were crazy, crazy moving around, moving boxes and stuff like that in the tables and chairs set up. And then she got into four registrations and she said, I didn't eat anything. I should have ate something. Jen did. Uh, the girl who was, who was reserved to do the registration area. And, um, and she passed out. And so they woke her up and said, hey, just go to your room. We'll just do this tomorrow. They didn't think about, I guess there was so much going on that they forgot. And I've done this myself, so I can forgive this. Uh, they were so busy that they forgot to update the app to say, hey, you know, this is what we're doing, whatever. We're going to move it over. You can register later or something or whatever. I wasn't told that, dude. And it even stayed that way all the way through the weekend. So chill the fuck out on your lies and at least own up to it. And then I hear yesterday that you had this this uh, video where you're kind of dogging me saying that I'm shit talking. I'm not shit talking. You know what shit talking is? Shit talking is when you're, you're cutting somebody down. All I'm doing is I'm pointing out facts to you. I'm pointing out facts to you. That's not shit talk. What you did is shit talk. If there's anything, I mean, uh, uh, your lies are shit talk. So chill the fuck out. Number one, uh, number two, um, the venue was an ex a success. It may have been a success to some in regards to the fact that it did happen. And I will say, it saved face for actually happening. I am glad that it happened. It serves, um, who knows where it's gonna go from here. Uh, but it is not a financial success. I'm pretty sure if you compared it to your life and the obstacles that you faced, you would agree with me. Stop fucking lying about it. Peace out. No, it's not. Uh, it's it's not kept an item for to watch the undesirables. It's I knew this guy was going there to like report back. So I was just kind of curious what he was going to do. I spent years working security, so my I'm always pretty aware of what's going on. So there's always going to be an alternative that could work, but look at Vimeo. Vimeo's been around longer than YouTube. It's it's got its own audience, but it's always been for the artistic video. It's always been for for the higher quality uh, stuff that is not meant to be by YouTube. And that's one of the reasons why we've never really seen a video take off like that. It, it, it becomes this factor of how you play within. She's just 16.